it tastes like new. What's cooking? This your main man, Low Cook, lowcookproduction.com, the place where we have the recipe for your success. And guess what I got in the mail today? Well, before I get to that, I know y'all probably wondering what happened to the eye. The eye thing. <laughs> I was trying to get rid of a wasp nest. You see, you see me, the, the, the wasp one. Get professionals to get rid of your wasp nest. To this, what I got in the mail. So, let's get this open. Let's see what we got here. Could have used a smaller box. Wouldn't have used so much of this. I could take this to work and actually use it. Save the company some money. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, a mic cable. Yeah, this big old box ain't for just one mic cable, but this is a specific type of mic cable. You see that? Can you see that? Can we focus in on that? Yeah, blue. It's a blue microphone cable. Hmm, Let's see what we got here. The blue pop. Hmm. I'm gonna open this on up. I used to be a gearhead back in the day. I used to buy a bunch of gear. I don't slow down because the computer gets the job done. I like gear, but man. A metal mesh pop stopper, huh? Pa -pa -pa -pa. I could see how that works. Cause they have the like the the they have the fabric mesh over the front and then the metal mesh in the back. So no, that's metal on the front is what it looks like fabric, but this is gonna work. My my other my other uh, pop stopper is like made out of stocking caps. I, I it, well the material of it is look like stocking cap material. Stocking. I ain't hood, but I'm from the hood. My original pop stopper was a clothes hanger with a pair of mom's stockings pulled over the top of it and tied up at the bottom and we just wrapped that joint in hn y'all know yeah that's my crew you know we we definitely have some ghetto rigs main event time drum roll please baby bottle baby <laughs> the blue baby bottle baby <laughs> blue microphones are some great microphones especially for the price i love blue microphones i love blue microphones the first time i heard a blue bird microphone was that's the original blue microphone that i purchased when i heard that microphone i couldn't even record my vocals because it just it's, it's like it, it, every time I went to say something, the clarity of the microphone was so amazing. The thing with the Bluebird though, it's more geared towards um, singers. Anyway, Blue Baby Bottle SL, this is the new joint. Cause I had a Blue Baby Bottle before, but they came out with this SL series. Now the difference between the regular Blue Baby Bottle and the SL series, cause they have a Bluebird SL as well is you have a you have a 20 db cut lever on it and as well as a high pass filter lever on it so it'll basically trim the load as you're going into the daw or whatever unit you're using to record your your uh instruments or vocal because this will record instruments as well but yeah Let's see what we got here, cause the packaging is looking good so far. I got some nice little extra little toys with it. And uh, I don't wanna throw it off my little makeshift table here. Some uh, information about the Baby Bottle SL Large Diaphragm Studio Condenser Microphone Registration Paperwork. 20% when you register. Register today and get a discount on our web store. 
Oh shoot, I might have to use that because I might need to give me another baby. I mean another uh bluebird. Yeah. Then it come in this nice, beautiful, handy dandy. Look like some cherry oak. It tastes like new. <laughs> Let me get that over there. Yeah. What else is in here? Oh, I'm assuming that that's the shock mount and a sticker. I'm going to start using these stickers. I get a lot of nice little stickers with stuff that I'll be purchasing and I never use them on stuff. And that's a pretty cool sticker. Blue, baby. Okay. Let's see here. Shock mount. This is a really good shock mount. I, I love these shock mounts. Even though I have one of these already from my previous microphone. Uh, yeah. A new one will come in handy. Because mine, one thing about these shock mounts that I don't like. This wing nut here. Which is a custom made wing nut. If you look at it. Let's see if I can zoom in. That zoom nut, it gets kind of loose and it doesn't stay as tight. So hopefully they change this design. When I bought my original baby bottle microphone, it was back in 2011. So yeah, hopefully that works well. Ghetto technique. If you ever mess up your rubbers for your rubbers, for your shock mounts, <laughs> you can use the little black hair ties. Use that for that. It, it works good. The big show. Another piece of paperwork, quality control certification. Inspected by a very competent individual, I'm sure. This looks nice. You know, little, what is this, velvet? Yeah, it feels all smooth, you know, a little foam. Me, I, I would keep mine in the case when I'm not using it. Makes sense, or buy you a microphone cover. One or two. You don't want to just leave your mic on the stand. I don't like leaving mine on the stand because you never know what may happen. I would hate for it to fall over. And with this piece of beautiful equipment, that little tip right there, it's on there pretty sturdy. But if this mug hit the ground, you know, I don't want to pop his head off. You know, large diaphragm. Most of that in there is the diaphragm. Like the, the diaphragm is where the vocals go into or the sound, I should say, goes into and is captured by the uh, electronics that's within the condenser itself and processes the sound. We're not gonna get too scientific because I'm not doing a, a total review of this. I'm just showing you that I have a new toy. Yo, yo, check, check, one, two. Yeah. I need a stand. Booyah! <laughs> yeah. We're gonna mount this on the stand, take a couple pictures of it, and then, hey, we'll be done with this. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and subscribe, matter of fact. Check out my other videos. Thank you for coming and watching what I got going on at lowcookproduction.com. Trying to get my YouTube stronger and stronger and stronger. Trying to bring more and more value to the people. You know, that's how your man do. Uh, I'm just gonna be using this, like I said, to track vocals on. I'm gonna put a link in the description of uh, the video for the microphone, for the mic cable, for the metal mesh pop stopper, and for the mic stand as well. Hey, that's pretty much why I need the microphone. I like to record my own vocal samples as well. I'm gonna get some uh, music and some musicians to come in and, and lay down some live instrumentation. But uh, yeah. If you uh, if you like what you see, 
please subscribe to me. Enjoy making your music. Have a good day. Cook out.